also discredited my own intuition and I discredited the intuition in others because of that, because it, it wasn't real for me. You know what I mean? Like I was so mm. rational and so materially oriented that I, I would discredit everything in regards to energy. And had you told me uh, what I'm telling you today, at mm -hmm. first I would be like, I can't believe it. Show me the studies. I'm, I'm going to look and see the studies. Maybe um, I can go try them and feel. But I couldn't even feel well. And, and that's the problem of actually most people nowadays. Hey friends, welcome to the Ancient Health Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Chris Motley. Today, we have a very special guest. We have Philip S. von Holzendorf-Failing. I hope I said it right. If I didn't, Philip, I'm so sorry. But it's a very special place in my heart, truly, because... He is the founder of Leela Quantum Tech, and we have their devices at our office in our clinic, and it is a device, our devices that use quantum energy to help clear the body, clean the body of harmful effects, not just of EMF, but how the body can be affected by toxins in our environment. So, Philip, thank you so much for joining us today, because we're going to talk about all things quantum energy. We really appreciate, appreciate you coming on. Sounds great. Thanks so much for having me on. Well, first of all, people out there, I know um, one of my buddies, Ben Greenfield, and he suggested when we had the necklace, and I have the necklace, and I wear it uh, at times, and so I do a lot of Chinese medicine, and when I wear the necklace, people say, do those things work? And I think I want to hear your story about how your intuitive nature, your energetic nature about helping people heal came to the surface, because I can feel it. I can feel how it cleanses my heart and my body, my lymph nodes. Like literally I've had to take it off sometimes like that's pretty strong, you know. So let's get into this. Now I've, I have a set of questions I, that I love to find out from you. First, tell us about yourself. We have such an interesting story. I mean, like you're a genius. So like, I mean that, like, can you tell us about about yourself and what led to the Leela Quantum Tech? Well, so I used to be in corporate America and in corporate Europe just in a regular career, basically, right? So I, you know, made it to vice president at T-Mobile International, responsible for 14 countries, um, ran, you know, a part of uh, T-Mobile US as a vice president. And wow. after that, you know, even further, I was, uh, you know, C-level executive at a multi-billion dollar company in the US. Until in 2016, I, I dropped out of corporate and said, I can't do this anymore. But, you know, the, the, the key really was that in the early 2000s, I already started in parallel to dig into meditation, yoga and energy healing techniques. So I got trained in shamanic healing practices, other energy healing practices, past life regression work, uh, all of that good stuff because in the early 2000s, I had realized I was in a very unhappy place in my life. Mm -hmm. And I all also discredited my own intuition. And I discredited the intuition in others because of that, because it, it wasn't real for me. You know what I mean? Like I was so mm -hmm. rational and so materially oriented that I, I would discredit everything in regards to energy. And had you told me uh, what I'm telling you today, mm -hmm. at first I would be like, I can't believe it. Show me the studies. I'm, I'm going to look and uh, see the studies. Maybe um, I can go try them and feel, mm. but I couldn't even feel well. And, and that's the problem of actually most people nowadays. And I'm sort of glad that I went through this path, you know, having not realized anything about what's actually real and then having opened up to that. And mm -hmm. in, in 2005, mm -hmm. I met my wife who was born with the ability to see aura and energy fields and all of that. And she never had lost this conscious connection to the divine, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so, which is completely different, right? And it's very rare uh, that that happens, but it, it helped me further to really get into this, to understand this more, to learn even more. And... Yeah, and then you know I became a biohacker and, and bioenergy hacker in in the meantime also because in between she was diagnosed with chronic Lyme disease, and I never accepted that she never accepted that 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 would be like forever like the doctor said, 
Mm -hmm. And uh, she's healed, by the way, completely. There's nothing left of the Lyme disease, of the chronic Lyme disease that she had had. Oh, and wow. uh, yeah, so no, that's that's the story in a nutshell. And then at some point, you know, in corporate, while I like to be there and I appreciate the, you know, what I was able to learn and also contribute, that was just a role I played. It wasn't myself doing really what I'm here for. And, and now I'm doing what I'm here for. And that's trying to help people, trying to find the next cutting edge thing that that can truly be of use for humanity and um, and actually more because we're, what we're talking about doesn't only just help humans, it helps plants and animals as well. Oh, I, I love that, uh, you know, the story about Lyme disease. I myself had Lyme disease and it was avenues of frequency medicine and, you know, using frequency medicine to help analyze and use it to help clean the body. When you were working with this, when you started to know about how to use your intuition, your energy healing, your frequency medicine, when you started to go down that path and become a biohacker, what um, created, like, what is the quantum healing technique? What is quantum healing energy? Because many people out there are going to say, what does it mean to have a quantum energy healing? Because people often forget, and I want your take on this, Philip, is that we often think it's like if we use frequency, can you actually use frequency? Can you actually use wavelength or patterns in the electromagnetic spectrum and even furthermore spectrums than I don't even know to actually heal the body? And that's what you're doing. Can you tell us more about this quantum healing? Well, yes, we we need to differentiate between the electromagnetic spectrum, which indeed there are certain wavelengths that you can leverage for certain positive results. We don't work with that at all mm. we actually work with just the pure quantum energy field which is you can think of it as below subatomic it really mm. is like the the basis of it all it's called source energy right that's literally the umbrella where everything else every frequency exists within the quantum field and we use the quantum field literally as you know mainly we use it as just the neutral quantum energy field that we make available, you know, with the blocks, for example, and all of that, there's no specific frequency on the spectrum included, but then we can combine it and, and it works like this, like you, you've shown, I think this water bottle, you know, that's charged with quantum energy and specific frequencies. So we sort of use the quantum energy as the carrier, if you will, mm -hmm. and it, it, it acts like a booster of the frequencies that we attach to it. And wow. in this case, it was some etheric frequencies that we literally are able to pull out of the ether. The ether exists, by the way, right? So everyone that's saying it does not exist has completely missed the boat or is defending some strange narrative. And then we work with molecular frequencies. And so mm. in this bottle, for example, you find almost 80 molecular frequencies. What is a molecular frequency? That is a frequency de derived from a physical substance. So uh, in this case, it's almost 80 different vitamins and minerals and organic plant extracts that are great for the human body. Mm -hmm. we, we took those, we, we knew that this specific combination would be amazing on a physical level. Mm -hmm. And we basically use the frequency because every substance has a specific frequency and vibrates in a specific state which is unlike any other substance right so mm -hmm. it's always unique and we can take with our technology basically any such frequency combine it and yeah press it burn it however you want to call it into this bottle or into a capsule or whatever and then the user can leverage these frequencies that's pretty much how it works that is, I mean, I think the way you talked about how quantum is like the, uh, it's like the, the soup that we all, it's like underneath that, you say the source where things are like, basically like where things can grow, like from that, that in energy that you say is source energy. Because um, I think that people now are more accepting about how you can infuse the energy, uh, the frequencies into material and i think that we often forget it was like we're in bombarded with frequencies every day we're material that actually absorbs it so you can put it into a product and one thing about the product guys i want you guys i am plugging this because it's amazing when you drink it and i know philip knows this you drink it after a while you start 
oh, I'm detoxing pretty good. Like I can feel this because all the vitamins and minerals help you with like your liver detox and methylation. So I, I encourage people to check this out. One of my friends, not Ben Greenfield, and, uh, well, he did. And another friend of mine, Ben, young guy, he's a biohacker. He started bringing your stuff into my office. And I was like, where'd you get that? And he goes, oh, because he would have me do some testing on him. And I was like, that tests really well. Like, w- this is a great product. Um, he has chronic Lyme and he's been cleaning out and he has no more Lyme in his blood. He's awesome. been suffering some different other things, but he's starting to get, he has no more Lyme in his blood. Now we're talking about the quantum energy. It taught, it taught us that taught me that quantum energy is a real thing. And now you created devices, you created these things in Leela. So what is Leela Quantitech? Like when did it all start? Like you got out of T-Mobile and what encouraged you to just go full force into it? Basically, when when I went through all these trainings, you know, to get trained myself uh, in these various uh, energy healing practices, I always wanted to learn from the best and find some of the best healers um, in the world. And I encountered some of those. And we're talking really like top notch. Uh, So, you know, my wife is among them, but there's, you know, someone, you know, called Roman Hafner from, from Europe. In the U.S., he's not so widely known because he doesn't speak English. So otherwise, you probably would have heard of him. But Mm -hmm. they call him the Wunderkind. And uh, he was born with the ability to see energy fields and frequencies on an extremely granular level. So so literally, so he had to learn the actual physical seeing over several years to really concentrate so that he could also see matter the way that we see matter. You know, wow. if you look at my phone, you know, we all have a certain, we see this as matter. Mm-hmm. His natural way is to see it all as a combination of vibrations and frequencies. And he would look at you and he would see your heartbeat. He would see the heat of the organs and he could see if there's a nerve blocked in your back or, or, or something like that, right? So he, he can, that was his natural seeing. Mm-hmm. And obviously, so already as an 11 year old, he would, would have been called on stage from some of these um, people that had big seminars and would answer the questions of like 300 people. Uh, what they said, you know, I have this problem here. Can you help me? And he said, yeah, okay, you have this problem because of this and, and this is what you can do, or I can just fix it. And then doctors would, would call him up and actually uh, ask him if they had outtreated patients or patients where they had no clue what to do with. Mm-hmm. And he would basically tell them, okay, this is what they have. This is what you can do. Or he just did his magic and he perfected that over time. So now if, you know, if you imagine you go to your living room you may have a candle and a TV and all that. And I would ask you, can you please grab that white candle there and then, um, bring it over here and put it in the kitchen, then it's very easy for you to do, right? Mm -hmm. But if I told you, okay, so uh, here are these 5,000 different frequencies, could you please take the vitamin C frequency? Uh, Oh, and uh, there's this specific um, electromagnetic frequency. Could you take those please and just move them out of here and just move them elsewhere? You'd struggle with that uh, <laughs> or just say, I mean, I just really can't do that. Uh, how would I know? So that's super easy for him. That's as easy as you going to your living room, grabbing that white candle and put it elsewhere. So that's the type of caliber that we're talking about. And so um, what I witnessed also through my own healing work and, and all of that is that healers always work with the quantum field. Mm -hmm. And then they work with specific information or frequencies to bring systems that are out of balance into balance. And with system, I don't mean anything technical. It's just that a body is also a system, right? You know, it's a system of different organs working together and all of that, right? So you have have the glandular system, you have have all, all kinds of different systems. And if something is out of balance, you can bring it back into balance, Mm -hmm. right? And, and the vision was really to create something that can help 24 seven with that, not yeah. necessarily replacing a work of an amazing healer, because that would be very targeted for a specific individual, but with a broader brush, helping on certain different levels 24 seven. That was the idea. And then we saw just a couple of companies that are 
that had started to work with quantum energy, but they did a mm -hmm. really poor job of doing it. Uh, don't need to get into that, but there's <laughs> really, really poor job. And then we said, well, I mean, the idea is great, but I mean, what if we really executed so well on it that it's all super harmonious with human cells and that really beneficial results happen? And that's when we started to develop. Then we went into before and after testing, and then we've gotten all these great results. And then, you know, over time we learned, okay, that just before and after testing, I mean, that's great, but you need to provide really gold standard studies. So we moved more into randomized, double-blind, single-blind, sham controlled, placebo-controlled studies so that, you know, what we're doing, which sounds like magic, you know, can really be shown in a scientific way. Hey, you know, hey, you don't have to believe in this. It works regardless. And that's, I think, that's the most fun about what I'm doing, actually, um, yeah. that, that people are sometimes like, I don't know it works, but it freaking works. And this is so <laughs> cool, right? And so it opens them up to that there's more in life than just what we thought exists. I think that's one of the, the the things about your company is that you have the double blind studies and you do have the research behind it about how it does affect physiology and bridging the gap between quantum and between the, you say, like etheric fields, because that's a whole nother realm. Like, I won't act like I would know that about etheric fields. I would say I've read about them and I've really studied them because um, one of my mentors, my main mentor, Dr. Dowdy, he was really, and he still is, really big into electrical medicine. So he d he created different techniques that would actually allow us to, at time, you know, adv uh, advise the body and get advice from the body about the frequencies that are needed to help create some form of balance and movement within. Like I use a lot of acupressure and acupuncture, of course, but when you do a double blind study, I think most individuals out there don't know that there's a gap that can be bridged. And I think that's what's great about your company is that you're now creating the bridge that people can say, oh, you know, that we can create the quantum to the physical. And it's always been there. So that's one thing that I, I love about the third party research with quantum. Like, <coughs> excuse me, one of the devices I love is the, excuse me, the block. And I think it's so amazing. Like when you have the block, that it can cover so much ground. Like, I know we're going to go into another question, but most people would say, like, you can put the block in. How much do they need, like, for their house? Like, when it cleans up EMF, do you have one block for a house or do you have two? You know, because people are always telling me, like, I have so many EMF coming in. I have towers over here. I have 5G. They're thinking about doing 6G. What, how, what do you advise about that? Yeah, so for a regular house, uh, definitely one block is enough. You know, we know, I mean, a lot of people have multiple blocks and that's that's not bad at all mm -hmm. right and you can use them for different use cases some have like the big grand block and they have it as part of their kitchen line actually like we do too actually it's it's, it's <laughs> somewhere in the kitchen and then you, know, you can put your full plate in there and your know, water uh and and i don't dog food right and and that's just right there so it, it it's 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 a tool and it looks nice right so it, it doesn't does. disturb and and the energy is also good so it's totally fine if you have like two, three blocks at home, but it's just to to harmonize EMF, it's just one is needed. And and in a regular size home, just a, a travel block even does the trick if you're just concerned about EMF. So you don't need the biggest block for that. The downside with that obviously just is you couldn't put any large objects inside, right? And yeah. and then the field doesn't doesn't expand very far but you know for a home it which this still be okay definitely I, this is good because i have some more questions about the expansion of it but um like but i wanted to ask you too can the the devices can they help you not only with the physical body and the emotional that what are their effects on your physical body and your emotional body because because most of my patients come in will say to you and me like i know it's my emotions I know my emotions are creating this pattern. How do they affect the emotions and the physicality of the body? Mm -hmm. So with the emotions, it's a little bit harder to to prove, um, you know, what actually happens. So I'll get into one study that was done regarding that specifically. Uh, but then I'm going to refer to thousands of people that actually have used the products. And we're, what we've seen and heard over time is that you get way more into balance with yourself mm -hmm. 
you create a more harmonious environment. And, and I think what I have noticed and what other people have noticed is that, you know, we always have these ups and downs in our lives, right? Sometimes we feel great. Sometimes we feel sad, bad, whatever. And that's life, right? That's totally life. And that also doesn't stop with that. But these, these breaks down, they don't go as, as much down anymore as they used to, if that makes sense. Like mm -hmm. we, there's as if there's something that carries us uh, uh, to a certain level and then up there it's still where everything happens we don't really emotionally or yeah with our feelings just just are dragged down completely that's just one thing i've noticed and that many others have noticed now with emotions often they have to do with certain belief systems and and certain patterns you know that that we're used to and that are ingrained since our childhood and all of that. Mm -hmm. And the, in, the base Institute in Austria actually ran a six month study uh, and they used the heel capsule, right? So with a block, it would even be more powerful. And they were able to show that over 95% of all the hindering belief systems and thought patterns that these people had mm -hmm. that would always create these, negative um, situations basically for them emotionally and, and all that were gone, wow. wiped out wow. within these six months. And, and so that's, that's actually quite profound. So they couldn't measure those anymore. They have actually a, an advanced Decavol testing method on how they can test these things. And um, not only that, it was exactly the same what, what the person then subjectively would tell you after that right so it's oh, you know man. it was it was pretty profound so but so for something like that you need to work with intention so for these you know you have certain effects that you always have mm -hmm. but if you want to neutralize or or wipe out a certain thought pattern or belief system or something like that you want to name it you want to set the intention to actually get over that right and then with your own power and the support of the field that actually will realize and manifest i i really love that aspect uh, philip because at the office and not trying to talk about myself but it's like what you said the intentionality at times when we do like work because you know I always say like I'm a monkey on a computer. You just give me a technique and I'll learn it. And I just, I only learn by repetition, you know, but I've learned over the years that you can feel current as it goes through the body. You can feel it through your body. And I'm not comparing it to quantum. I, I just, I would say that emotionally, like you said, the intentionality, because in our technique, we would try to have the person think, you need to think about that situation. And they think, well, it, you know, is it just all intention? I said, of course it is. You have to have intentionality to bring the signals up to the surface. And if you can pull some energy from the quantum, that, that is something I want to investigate even more because I need to be able to use more devices to help these people heal. So intentionality, I find that the signals given off the body increase by higher amplitudes when they're actually thinking about it and actually are aware of it. So with this, though, um, we know that you can affect the emotions and I think one thing that I read about your devices was how it affects the physiology, but it calms the organs down, like it can calm the body down. And the, I love like you just said that if you have something like an EMF field or something that's pushing that organ into a certain way, you have to train the body to be able to rebound to try to pull it back into to balance. And that's what I love about your devices. I know we're talking about EMF and, you know, everybody's really concerned about EMF and what's going on. How does the quantum field, you may have already said this, but I just want to get a more clarification. How does the quantum field come into like this whole new arena of of EMF? Is it even affected by the EMF field? You know, does the quantum just like, it's like, it's not changed. It's just there to, to heal. What's the, the take between EMF and quantum? Mm -hmm. So quantum energy we have everywhere. So that's mm -hmm. important to understand. There's There's always some of this energy everywhere but it's not there in a concentrated fashion that's also different and then actually the actual breakthrough with our technology that we're able to harness and super concentrate it right so mm -hmm. that uh, of that subtle energy which exists everywhere 
you suddenly have such a super powerful source that you can't find anywhere else, right? Mm. Other than if you're trained with your own consciousness to fully access that, right? Mm. That's also a poss possibility. Mm. So tell me, tell me the, the, the... Like if we have cell towers, like here in the US, we have like, okay. I've got cell towers here. I'm like, does it affect the quantum or does the con is the quantum just like doing its own thing? You know. So it doesn't affect the quantum overall because that, again, is like you said, is the soup that we have everywhere. But it affects us as physiological and energetic organisms mm -hmm. as well as any device. For example, these devices like phones, especially phones, they're hit the most because we're constantly interacting with electromagnetic fields here. Mm -hmm. So when we when we charge this phone in our block, for example, let's say I have a phone and I can measure the negative results of EMF onto my body. I can charge this in a block for like a minute, minute and a half. And then after that, I cannot test any negative or harmful um, interactions anymore onto my body. Now, after three, four months, we recommend to recharge this. It, it doesn't fully lose the, the quantum energy inside, but it loses some of it. And um, it is because the electromagnetic fields tend to suck quantum energy out of objects. Wow. And out of us as well. So it's sort of like a depletion that is happening. Mm -hmm. And that's something that with our tech, you can basically recharge all of that. And yeah, if you had a ring, for example, that, by the way, does not lose its charge pretty much ever, right? Because it, it really isn't isn't like a phone. It's not like connected to cell towers constantly and all of that. Uh, so, yeah. That is amazing. So, Phil, you could take your phone and put it in the block, like the block device, mm -hmm. and leave it there. So maybe three to four months. That, oh, man, like I didn't, I mean, I knew that you guys could do it. I didn't know it was that long of a, a lasting. So people out there get the device because... You know, everybody's so they always want to get like, you know, different stickers and different, you know, attachments and such, which I have on my phone. But if I could do that, I didn't realize that. So you could put your rings, you could put like your necklaces in there to help. Wow. Yes, absolutely. And and so and, and, and it's it's so real, right? So this ring, for example, if you had any other jewelry or your silverware, for example, you charge it in a block and after that it has a higher vibration. So what does that mean? If you can perceive or see energy, you'll see it vibrating in, in a much higher state mm -hmm. and people that cannot do that if you have neighbors over for dinner right so let's say you had them over last last friday and then you'll have them again over this friday and now you've charged your silverware and put it on the table they'll tell you oh my god this looks so beautiful or you ask them the question they say yeah it, it looks more beautiful but they don't know why mm -hmm. right so they can grasp why but that's that's exactly what's happening and so that happens with objects but if you put food or water in there the same thing happens right you increase the vibration it's just it, it works a little bit differently because with water it would structure the water what does that mean it, it it basically promotes that these super nice crystals start mm -hmm. to appear in the water and that then the water becomes sort of like the primal water right where the primal spring water and then if you ingest that that your cells can really leverage that in a completely different way and it doesn't filter out bacteria or any of that right so you want to take good water and not water from the mississippi but uh <laughs> but that water really is optimized and that happens also with foods right you know there's i mean countless examples of people that are you know sensitive to certain foods and now if they charge them they can actually tolerate them i don't know if you you knew this but so there's a actual video on our youtube channel mm -hmm. where we on dave asprey's a big uh conference i think two two and a half years ago live on stage in front of over 100 people we demonstrated that with an allergy test live on stage so todd shipman he's quite yeah. allergic to uh to crap meat they put crap meat in his arm here and he got all red blisters started popping up itchy the same crap meat they put life on stage in a block and then afterwards took it out after several minutes i think four minutes is the minimum for sensitivities we found out and then put his 
put it in his other arm. No reaction, right? Wow. Um, now don't try this at home because we don't have enough data yet, but we, we've, known, we've heard from multiple different people with all kinds of different sensitivities, gluten, lactose, whatever, that this works for them. And there has been a pilot study in Germany done by uh, a clinic that has a $40,000 device to test allergy responses uh, of the human body. Mm -hmm. And they found a 65 to 95% reduction in allergy response um, if you charge the substance in a block, and that is true for sugar as well, even though you can't be allergic to sugar, but you have a stress response to sugar. Yes. So charge your truffles. Um, and <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm literally doing I'm that. with I'm you. Like, I'm, I'm with you. This is great. I'm telling you. It's, yeah. But I mean, to me, that that's a game changer that you could take food and all the individuals out there, especially the mothers that are listening to this and they have kids that have eczema, when I when they come in, we do like my frequency scan and I'll find different foods and I'll use different um, patterns of infrared and different acupoints to like change the pattern. But to charge the food, I'm going to try this on my mom because she has to, and where she's at, she has to eat certain types of food because I think it reminds me of one of my friends is, um, he's a great energetic healer. And his teacher was a, a Qigong master in China who moved to uh, San Francisco. And he said that he would every night make an energetic meal. And I was like, what do you mean by making an energetic meal? And he would be singing. And he said he would sing in the tones that would in initiate the frequencies over the mute food. And he would be doing Qigong over the food. And he says, everybody there... And even people with sensitivities to the actual, like they knew, he goes, no, you can eat it. You're fine. You can eat it. And he said, everybody was almost high. Like they were just like, oh, this is the best, like, because it was infused into the food. So, mm -hmm. but everybody out there, I mean, I, I mean, just for that, that pays back many times the amount of money to pay into the devices. So you can put your food, you could put your water, you could put your jewelry into it. Now with the device, so you're saying, Philip, like the device is, continuously since the quantum is just basically the super in it continuously just pulls from the quantum so you really don't have to like do anything to the devices they're there to just continuously pull energy into the the device correct correct and i can maybe also show this here you know within these plates you know there is this multi-dimensional quantum energy space and that is being generated and there at all times it's mm -hmm. you can also call it a high consciousness field Mm -hmm. we can we can get into that if you want but yes. so that's that's always in here unless you deassemble the plates so it's not like you plug it in you plug it out you assemble it or you deassemble it so it works a little bit differently right mm -hmm. um and if you if you break the you know the the product and you just throw it away then it doesn't work anymore you disassemble it but as soon as it's disassembled you have this field inside and it also never loses its charge and at the matter of fact, actually gets more powerful over time, slightly, but it does. That's a great. So, <laughs> is there? A, and we're going to talk about the higher conscious. But is there um, the, the the geometry within the device? Like you have the plates. Does that have like a way that it multiplies or amplifies the the energy? The way it's. I mean, I I don't know if we want to go into that. Maybe it's just something you don't want to go. But I mean, no, just no, like I basically, is that what it's, the design allows that to happen? So actually the geometry isn't really, you know, so definitely the, the mandala that's on it, you know, it is a nice add on feature, but it, it, it does not provide the energy. So, because we also, for these studies, you know, we need to provide sham devices and then they look exactly the same. Yeah. And there's a slight effect actually, a, a tiny effect. And that comes from the geometry itself. Mm -hmm. but it's it's nothing compared to when it's charged it's a it's gotcha. a vast difference uh, right gotcha. so and that's to rule out also placebo effects and so it really is it's how it's charged and not how it's designed great okay so that's exactly like I'm, i was wondering because I, I always thought like um you know what if somebody dings it doesn't mean to like you know bends it or something like that so that's a great um, advice there. So when we talk about higher conscious, I mean, even I like this type of talk because I need to learn. 
Because some people think it's like that's too out there to talk about it. But what is your your take on higher conscious, like this higher quantum energy? So we're saying the quantum is like a higher conscious. It's like, is that saying like there's a universal like soup or, you know, is there that you can pull information from? Is that what we're talking about? Like the higher conscious? What's your uh, um, explanation of it? So at core, we're all consciousness. We're all consciousness beings, right? Energy and frequency. And running around here, you know, on earth, we'll we'll all have different consciousness levels and there are different consciousness levels in different locations and all of that, right? And especially coming out of the so-called Kali Yuga, which is the dark age, if you will, Mm -hmm. um, where everything was really focused on the material, the physical, the density of everything. Everything was very dense. We, as humanity, have forgotten literally who we are what we really are right i mean (laughs) just go to a random downtown and and ask 10 people you know like if if they understand the concept that they're energy and frequency and i mean they have all no clue right and so but that's the most fundamental truth right because that's how we are and who we are so isn't this kind of funny that we forgot all of that but we're in the process of of accessing that again. So there's an there's a different conscious level that Dr. David Hawkins described very well in his book, Power Versus Force, and he set up this consciousness scale. I'm bringing this up because for people, then it becomes more like a reference and you can read about it also if you're interested or at least Google about it. Uh, so you have lower levels of consciousness or vibration. Mm-hmm. Um, where you're maybe in the state of anger, guilt, shame, you know, those are all very low consciousness or vibrational levels. Mm-hmm. And and that's kind of, if you're vibrating in these levels, that's what you also ext- attract more in your life. So if wow. you're always in anger, whether that's consciously or subconsciously, doesn't really matter. You'll have a lot of anger around you, right? It's, uh, and then you attract more of that. And, and then maybe other people get angry at you and, you know, you're just always in this state. Then if you move into higher levels, then at some point you'll be at 500, which is the level of unconditional love. 540 would be joy. And then you move into the so-called enlightenment zone, right? Which is quite large in his model. So, and the higher you vibrate, the more you get out of these low vibrational state and the more you invite and attract uh, also higher frequencies and higher vibrational situations into your life. That's wow. it's actually quite scientific. That, and he proved that. Uh, it's, it's very interesting because he, I mean, he ran um, test, tests and studies uh, over a very, very long period of, of time, many, many years. And so it's, it's, it's really cool. It is. Now, uh, as you vibrate higher, you can access also more of your own knowledge, right? Your own knowing, literally, you get more connected with yourself. That's pretty much how it works. And it it's not a matter of, so it's, it's not a competition, right? You don't want to, oh, I need to have a higher conscious level than this guy or no, it's, it's really just about you. It's about you, me, and whoever is dealing with themselves. Like, where are you? And how can you access more of your own inner power basic that's what it is all about and that's the awakening process that you awaken more to your consciousness the consciousness is never gone it's Mm -hmm. always fully there what's not there is our conscious and aware connection to it so think of it that you know that's all the consciousness all you can know is always there right Mm -hmm. and you have a tiny little tube and with that, you you access that, and but, but then only just a little bit can get through to you, right? And but maybe even you, it's it's just been so dirty and clogged, you completely forgot that. Like yeah, that was me, like a, a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And then when you do this inner work, and that can be tai chi, that can be yoga and meditation, and can be all these other things, and certainly can be our technology as well. And in addition, you you open this tube further, 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 further so that more and more of that can come in, right? And another analogy is you have a window in the living room, big window front, and the sun shines in, and it's it's been dirty since 30 years. No one wiped it, right? And mm-hmm. almost no sunshine can come in. 
Now you're starting to wipe it and more and more of that sunshine can come in. That's kind of what is happening. That is actually the DNA because the DNA is sort of like a crystalline layer that sort of converts, projects our original blueprint into this reality. Wow. So, and if we're wow. uh, cleaning the surface, then we invite more of that in. And that is sort of what's happening with a high consciousness field. Wow. I I love this, but man, I, I, I think we should do another podcast just on higher consciousness. I'm serious. <laughs> if you're ever interested, because I love this work. Because, you know, when Dr. David Hawkins, my friends um, about before he passed away, he was teaching in uh, Sedona, Arizona, and they got to see David Hawkins like they and I could not go because I had school. I, could, I was like, and they went there. And I always thought like when he did the higher, the, the consciousness levels and numbers, I always thought of it like how he equivocated it to even like wavelengths of light. I always thought it was like a, a rainbow. Oh, I'm tapping into the yellow light. I'm tapping into the red light, you know, and it's only about how much I could tap in, you know. And I thought it was interesting. People would always say like, what about like higher consciousness, like uh, absorbing information from a high, like, from a different field? And I, I sort of thought like, well, let's say my grandfather had tons of experiences and he passed on pieces of DNA that are exact matches of his to me. And that biologically allows me to have some of the same experiences. But I have to believe that the vibrations from that DNA went out somewhere in around us. And I could still probably pull from that experience like like an iCloud. And people are like, I was like, no, all technology mirrors neurology. Like it always, you know, and I'm like, when you said pull it in, I was like, I remember, um, and you could probably, we could go into this. I know you know more about this than I do, but they're talking about pineal gland. And some of the teachers I've known that talked about using ohm frequencies and comparing it to your device, like I'm saying, expanding the pineal gland to allow more of the frequencies to actually come down through the pineal gland and to actually enter the brain and to get more information. That's why they still do different hums, different music, uh, chime bowls and things. And I thought for the first time, I thought, does this stuff really make your head, you know, feel that way? And I remember this one guy, he had, he, he was a practitioner and he was doing all of, and I literally was like, I think I can see better. And I think I can hear better. I mean, I was really like kind of freaked out, Philip. I was like, is anybody else hearing this? Like, I'm serious. Like my eyes, like I can see better. Like, and, um, I detox the next day. So when we talk about like your devices, I'm just saying it's like the con, like you can actually pull more frequency or pull more of that quantum in, man, this is a great combo. I, I mean, I could keep going. So, and, and now but, with, the, yeah. the, the, but the key is it's you doing it and so and everyone doing it it's like we always think it's then it's the device that does it but the key is really no you are doing it but oh. the the field basically signals it to you that you can do it like it opens the gateways if you will but then you're doing it because also like and we haven't talked about the physical results but that's the amazing part where actually then the consciousness aspect, which is sort of woo woo for a lot of people, and the actual hardcore scientific facts of the physical positive changes actually meet because, because it invites you into your own completeness on this energetic level. Yes. You do it. You start doing it. You're just your cells start to vibrate higher. Your cells start to act better. Your blood changes in a positive way where your white blood cell activity motility increases for example wow. uh, which has been formally paralyzed by emfs as an example even stage one and stage two of blood clotting uh, can reverse uh, within minutes uh, you know you see parasitic load actually in the blood decrease also within minutes that all can happen then your heart rate variability improves your atp production increases wound healing of human cells is faster by 85 to 100 percent shown in randomized double blind studies and that is all happening because your body is doing that because our bodies are designed originally to heal themselves it's just because there's constantly so much under stress, depleted of quantum energy of these high consciousness fields. Um, and on top of that, we, we have these stressors, right? We have these stressors, we have air stressors, we have food stressors, especially in the US, the food is, there's oh. so much terrible stuff in the food, oh. you know, and you know, while we all look here, we should look into what's actually in the food. And, and so we, 
the body is just bombarded with that. Like we're basically a dumb, right? We're basically dumb for bad stuff and we're constantly needing to fight that. Now, if on an energetic level, we can neutralize a lot of these stressors, then we can focus on our actual body functions and getting those wow. optimized. And, and, and that's pretty much how it works. So, you know, our devices don't heal anything. It is, it is you guys doing that. And you're just now again in the position to do it, if that makes sense. I, I do. I think I, I would love to, the way you put about DNA and the crystalline formation about us doing it, because um, when we talk about, I, I again, I'm not, I'm not saying I know anything about quantum, so Philip, I'm just saying like in my realm, it's like, you know, we talk about even like electromagnetics or like we as a person, if there's a wavelength that comes in, if we could actually train our body, so actually they say invert the wave like of a condition, you possibly could create an out of phase effect like in music, like you have a wave going here and you take the opposite and you could balance it, but it is recognition. Like you'd have to be able to recognize that you actually have the problem. And I think that's what, yeah. like when we don't realize, like setting up our DNA to actually pull in information. And I think about how you just said all the things that contort our DNA. And, and I would have to believe, too, uh, like, if somebody spontaneously used Quanta, this is me just asking or thinking, use Quanta to help with their Lyme disease, to help with certain types of cancers or certain types of tumors or cysts, I don't, I mean, I'm just saying, if the information is in the Quanta, in the field, then why wouldn't we all be able to have that, you know, get that type of spontaneous healing? And that's what you're saying is like, there has to be a miscommunication in our DNA in the in the formation or something with the the field, so that means that we're just listening to static, like we're not we're not listening to the clear music pretty much probably. Th that is pretty true. And then on top of that, we own have our we all have our own stories and all of that. And you wouldn't believe. I mean, you you probably would, but I mean, it's just almost unbelievable how many people actually don't want to be healed. They want to hold on to their diseases on a subconscious level. Uh, you know, and we find that actually in various places, whether that's abundance, money flow, health, right? And you know, there's often really underlying thought patterns that we're, you know, we're not worth it. We're not worth it to, to have an abundant life or we're not worth it to be healthy or we just don't want to be healthy mm -hmm. because we, we've learned to live with this disease and maybe this disease you know, always let us be special in a way or people would take care of us because, you know, there's so many different reasons to why. And and first, we need to clean these things up and transform these patterns within us. But but the these consciousness fields, the high consciousness fields also help with that because we recognize at some point that, yeah, I mean, this is, it's just sort of like some artificial like thought pattern that, isn't really it doesn't have anything to do with my true essence so over time if so if i work intentionally with this i can get through these things relatively quickly actually yeah. if i don't but then still because of the the higher vibration that i'm constantly around then i start vibrating higher i tend to leave these lower levels of consciousness and with that these things start to transform and I naturally invite more health into my life. I invite more abundance into my life. All these things that are actually our true essence, because our true essence is not to be a deficit or to run on a deficit or to be sick. That has nothing to do with our true essence. Oh, this is so good, <laughs> Philip. I mean, I like the way you just said that because when you talk about like going to higher vibration rate, like, you know, if you if you're stuck in like blame or anger, there are some times when there's a good anger. There's a high vibration yep. rate of anger. I'd have to believe that because there's some things that justice needs to happen. And I think when you have that lower vibration, like you're saying, and if you have like the wavelength that can kind of match, but there's different amplitudes, different levels, and you have to match a higher level you naturally will get out of that low state because you're like, I'm going to operate in anger that's po that's a good anger, like, you know, when it's needed or something. And that's the one thing I'm, I'm loving about this conversation about higher conscious. Um, man, we, I mean, we did, we take us, it would take us even another hour to even talk more about this. So 
I mean, if we can one day, like, let's try to do another one about higher conscious with your, your products. Okay. If you don't mind, I mean, I love yes, this. Topic. Happy to, happy to. I, um, I love that topic as well. And we I, rarely ever talk about it, to be honest, because most people out there, consciousness is just such a hard concept for them and they're not really there yet. And they need to just look at the physical results. And if they see, you know, wound healing accelerate by 85 to 100%, oh, wow, cool. Yeah, no, you know, I try this. But in the end of the day, really, it all works on the consciousness level. Yes, because I, I, I'm with you. I see people many times a day and it breaks my heart. It, when people don't want to heal and you can feel that in their essence, like it's like, well, their essence, like now where they're, they're combined. Yes. And I'm like, no, you really do want to heal. That's why you keep fighting. Like you're fighting because you want to get to that informational field that can actually heal. So that's a big conversation. I'm telling you, we got to do that one. Um, so guys, we're going to do a note. We had to do another podcast about that. So Philip, now, can you please let people know, like, uh, is Leela Q, right? L E E L A Q.com. That's where you can find it. And guys, he has so many great products. And, um, with me, I'm like my mom, like I, with the block, I have it because she's had some health issues, but you just saying about how it cleared the blood, uh, how it helps mobilize white blood cells. That in itself is worth it. I'm telling you, like the amount of blood flow that can come through somebody just by having the device within their room is, is, is a magical basically. Um, and I think quantum, can I use a term? It's like the magic of life when you start to study this. And like, whenever I hear people talk about it, I was, I'm always like an optimist, pessimist in the mixture, Philip. I'm always like, does it work? But I've seen it work. You know, like, and so I just want to say kudos to you. Thank you for investigating and putting the time into this because it's the new realm. You know, they're going to try to, we're going to see more and more people try to learn more about it because you're like a forerunner. So thank you so much for that. Can you tell us how to get a hold of you, your website, your Instagram feed? Tell us all about how to get a hold of you. Yeah, well, thanks again for having me on. I really enjoyed the conversation. I'm already looking forward to talking more about consciousness. We're going to do a couple it. Ideas. Good, yeah. yeah. And so... Obviously, our website is, is very easy. It's leelaq.com, L-E-E-L-A-Q.com. And there you can just read a little bit about it. You know, we also have most of the studies there, not all of them, because they also, you know, sometimes takes time until we get the reports back and can even publish things right already if we know the results. But you find a lot there. And then there's a telegram icon, actually, on, on, the, on the website. If you click mm -hmm. that, then you can access our private telegram group which you wouldn't find if you search on telegram because it's private to keep bots out and also people that don't have anything to do with this or are not customers we, we don't want to have those in the group mm -hmm. and there's over six thousand five hundred people by now um in this telegram group it's called the quantum power group and then you can join and and listen in and learn a little bit more about the topic and you hear from real people using this stuff like every day you know what they experience what they do and all of that you can ask questions and so that's a great way to engage and you find me there as well in this group and then if you click on my icon you can send me a private message so that's not a call to send me a private message, please, because I get tons. <laughs> yeah, you and got too many. There's no way. <laughs> and it, it takes sometimes 10 days for me to get back, but I always answer. So if there's, but always reach out to support or to the group members. But if there's something, I don't know, you, you want to partner with us, you, you have a very specific question that only I can answer. So then, you know, of course, go ahead and send me a, a message there. Oh, that's great. So, yes, we're going to have you back on if you don't mind, my friend. I'm just saying I'm just very impressed in the sense like I because I like to learn and I'm learning right now. So, again, everybody out there, check out Leela Q, L-E-E-L-A-Q dot com. We ran a, um, a promotion code through the Ancient Health Institute. So we did um, a promotion for, I think, Black Friday. And so if you guys are really wanting to learn more about this, please visit Philip's website. From all of us here at the Ancient Health Podcast, I really thank you, Philip, for coming on because this is like something I love to talk about is frequency medicine and quantum. And until the next time we have another podcast, thank you. And everybody else, if you guys like this type of conversation, please like and subscribe and give us some comments. And we want to just keep spreading the message of health and love and grace. And Philip, again, thank you so much. And uh, until next time. Thank you. I appreciate it.